Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Jamie and I'm an artist and illustrator based in the UK. And for today's video, I'm going to be talking about five ways that you can sell your art. First on the list, and it's an obvious one, you can sell your original paintings. After all, you're creating works of art on a daily basis, so why not sell them to make money? Seriously, this is the number one thing you should be doing, but it's really important that you build yourself a client base first to create relationships with people who like your work and who are interested in owning your art. Now you can do this by using social media apps like Instagram and Facebook to build your profile and gain followers. Now don't use Instagram to sell from the get-go. No one likes to get a cold call at the front door and they especially don't like it online. So instead, post pictures of your works in progress, behind the scenes in your studio or your art room or your dining table and your completed paintings. People want to be able to see what inspires you and gets your painting once you've built up an audience, then you'll be trusted to advertise your work to them and they'll feel confident in buying from you. If you don't know how much to price your work for, then stay tuned for another video where I'll discuss this in greater detail. Second on the list is to put your artwork on products. I have produced a series of landscape and wildlife greetings cards based on my original work. There are a number of online companies who can make these products for you at a good price. It's usually the case that the more you order, the more cost efficient it is for you, meaning you make more profit on each item sold. You can have a whole range of items like coasters, mugs, placemats, cards, the list is endless. So have a look online for some companies that can print these for you. And once you've got your products, we can move on to item number three, which is to sell these products online or in person. I have an Etsy store as well as my own website where you can buy my products and paintings. Be aware that if you're using a website such as Etsy or Shopify, there'll be additional charges for adding a product and when you sell a product. Whilst these fees are typically quite small, they can soon add up if you don't keep track of what you have in your store. And like I did at the weekend, you can sell in person at local events, such as a village fete or craft fair. These are great for getting to meet people face to face and getting to see their reaction to your work in the flesh. Plus, you get to show off how diverse your work is. To give you an idea as to the value of doing these type of events, here's a breakdown of my figures from spending just over two hours standing in a churchyard. So in total, I sold 22 greetings cards, three coasters, one small hand painted box and an unframed A4 watercolour. And that gave me an income of £66, £10.50, £15 and £25 which makes a grand total of 116 pounds and 50 pence. Now my expenses were 18 pounds 92, 3 pounds 75, 4 pounds and 2 pounds 50, which makes 29 pounds and 17 pence. So my total profit from the morning was 87 pounds 33. Now that's not bad for a morning's work. The cost for having the stall was nothing in this case, but I did give a small donation to the church committee. This next one, will cost a little bit more to achieve but it's definitely worth it and that is to make prints of your original paintings. Not everyone can afford to buy an original painting so this is the next best thing. This large painting hangs in our living room and is my wife's favourite painting of mine. There's zero chance of me ever selling it. So for my Facebook followers a couple of years ago I offered a very limited edition signed print of this painting printed on fine art paper by a professional art printing company. I sold all of the prints within days and made a nice profit on them. So not only were the customers incredibly pleased with the prints, it helped my cash flow for that month too and gave me another revenue stream. I've also sold smaller, more affordable prints too, which only cost a few pounds to produce. And finally, this leads me on to the final point. This is cover art. 
Now by cover art, I mean things like books, CD covers, or merchandise for businesses. And this is going to be a tougher one to achieve, but hear me out. There will be someone you know who is also a creative, be it an author, a musician, or a business owner who is wanting to produce a book, a CD, or merchandise for their business. And this is where it is so good to network with others in your area to build relationships. For me, I've recently teamed up with a good friend of mine who is a children's book author, and we now have published two books together. Yes, there is a lot of work involved in creating the illustrations, but once the book is published and you've covered your printing costs, it's all passive income coming your way. But you need to put the hard work in to find these people and showcase your work. It can be done, and I'm proof of that. I hope you found these five ways to sell your art useful. If there's something about being an artist you'd like me to talk about, then drop me a comment below. Also, if you found this video useful, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Until next time, take care and I'll see you soon.